now Amanda is working on the process of breaking down edibles and extracting the cannabinoids from them so that we can do a potency tests to determine how strong they are. And so what this process involves is uh, sort of what I like to call a chemical accounting where you're keeping track of every component, uh, how much the edible weighs to begin with or how much of it there is making sure you get a homogeneous sample to uh, subsample that and get an accurate read on just how much is in there. Break it down correctly so you can extract the cannabinoids into uh, whatever solvent of interest you need them in to be able to measure them later. And then once they're all through that stage of being broken down and diluted, you take them over to the uh, lab for analysis. The idea here being that you want to make sure they're matching the label um, so that people know what they're getting and not getting either too much or too little to be effective for the relief. Another component of edibles that we want to determine how activated they are. So THCA is called uh, tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. It's the natural form that THC takes in plants. But you need to heat it during the process of either vaping, smoking it, or prior to making edibles, uh, actually heat the flour or oil itself to break that THCA down a little bit to the active form Delta 9 THC that I'm most, most familiar with. So here it's a much more aggressive uh, sample introduction system. You To get metals out of stuff, you really break them down in corrosive um, solvents like acids, and then uh, take that extract, bring it over here, and you introduce it into an argon plasma that's sitting at 6,000 degrees, which is the temperature of the surface of the sun, at 6,000 Celsius, actually. So um, once the metals go in there in this acid solution, they throw electrons off and ionize, and then once they're in that form, we can manipulate them with electrostatic forces into uh, electromagnetic forces in the uh, mass spectrometer here. And so then it can tell us very specifically which metals we're looking at and how much of them there are. So. The big four that we're looking for right now are arsenic, cadmium, mercury, and lead. Those are very common across uh, pharmaceutical, herbal, food, testing industries. You know, those are the some of the most harmful uh, heavy metals that you're really getting to products that you consume like that. So that's the main